Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Look, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? Well, I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. <sighs> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. It's dead. I guess he slept here. Feels pretty good. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just... Shot this other woman. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. 
Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Bam. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. And yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. Made of steel. Well, what am I looking for? Anyone following us. How will we know it's them? We'll know. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke! Luke! Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Sure you don't mind. It's gonna storm soon. Please come in.
Jenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. It used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clam? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! What now, Sarah? Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son... Well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid... Well... Krista and I were together for a while. But these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well... I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? 
So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Crazy. Reminds me of school. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, good my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. What a funny little guy. I haven't seen one of these since. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well... He's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? 
Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? She's gonna be a runner. It's not his. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. It's kind of our little war. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. Little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you. Does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before. And, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well... That's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. 
They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice too till they bite your damn arm off. Kenny. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? 
You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick! I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay. Okay, good. Now, do you, uh, do you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, it's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it! It's over! I have to tell him, Luke. What? No! You can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. Luke's right. You can't tell him. Listen to her, okay? It's fucking crazy. Jesus. 
I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... Uh, I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I... I shot Matthew. But it, it, it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and... I didn't mean to. You know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me.
Something ain't right. Yeah. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us! folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. moving. Look at this place. In place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window.
Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Never, my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. He won't kill a doctor. He'll do anything. Clint can sneak out. Find Lou. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Susie. Don't look. Dad! Luke and Kenny, stay here. God damn it. Oh, never did fuck. listen. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. No. Ah. That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Penny, over there. I got it. 
a shot. Don't shoot. What? He'll kill him. We can't just give up. Kenny, he'll keep doing this. Think about Sarita. We're coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. The folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love, surely wish that they had. The storm is on the way. Little girl, little girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines. We'll shiver the whole night through. My daddy was a railroad man Killed a mile and a half from here His head was found in the driver's wheel His body was never Oh. 